اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Categorical predictor variables using sum in R in R. How can we use categorical predictor variables and assess their impact on another endogenous variable when using the sum in R package in R? Now this is the sample model that I want to test. I need to evaluate whether country can affect the loyalty of a consumer. The objective is to assess whether country has an impact on customer loyalty. Country is a categorical variable in the study with three countries, China, Pakistan and Italy. Now country is not added into the model directly. The response scale is pure categories. They are on nominal scale. There is no order in the categories. Since it is a categorical variable, first the variable is dummy coded. Each country will become a separate variable. In this case, two categories, that is countries, will be added in the model estimation, whereas the third country will serve as a reference category. What do we mean by reference category? We are going to look into this as well. So the first thing is you need to create your dummy variables. Although you can create it manually in R by writing some code, or you can create it very easily in SPSS, the link will be shared in the description. But you can use this library fast dummies to create your dummy variables. Just simply install the package. Now let's do this in R. So here is the code that I've written. Again, the first thing is we will have our library called in, that is seminar, then the fast dummies. If you haven't installed it, just go to tools, install packages and write fast dummies and you can install it. Now the next step, again load your data. To create dummy variables, what we need to do is we already have loaded the data. So here is your data. We are going to call in the function dummy underscore columns that is defined in this particular library. We are going to provide in the argument that is what is the data file. In this case, the data object is data s and selected column, which column is to be dummy coded. The country column is to be dummy coded. And then we are going to review our data. Let's run it. We've got our dummy coded variable. Similarly, you can do for other variables in the data as well. Let's do another one just quickly gender. Let's run it. And now the gender is dummy coded. Again, I'm not in need of gender. I'm in need of country. Now it wasn't dummy coded. Why? Because C was capital in the data set for this particular variable. So let's run it. Now it's dummy coded. Now, since there are three categories, so you've got three dummy coded variables. We will not add all three because if we do, we are going to get the error of singular metrics. One of the country or one of the categories will serve as a reference category to which the results of other categories are compared. The next step, we are going to create our measurement model. So this is the measurement model object. We are going to define our constructs. The first one, loyalty measured through six items, CL1 to CL6. Then our two categorical variables. The first one, again, this is Pakistan represented as country underscore two, single item, Italy, country underscore three, single item. Now the results of these two countries are compared to the reference category, which is China. The next step, our structural model. Again, this is the object. These are the relationships that I'm interested in testing. And these are the paths. From is equal to the vector that is Pakistan and Italy influencing loyalty. Each of the category added separately. Now, where is Pakistan defined? Here is Pakistan. Where is Italy defined? Here is Italy. And they are affecting or influencing loyalty. Now, once that is done, we need to estimate our model. So let's do this up until here. 
now all 774 observations are valid no issues let's do a summary let's get our summary run it and here it is let's have a look now look at this Pakistan with a negative sign Italy with a negative sign as well now this means that loyalty in Pakistan is lower in comparison to China and same is the case with Italy as well that loyalty in consumers is lower in comparison to China why China why not Pakistan why am I not comparing it to Pakistan or any other country in case of this or in case of this why am I not comparing it with Italy because China is the reference category that has not been added into the model now you get similar results when you run the same model in smart PLS look at this minus 0.334 this shows that loyalty or customer loyalty in Pakistan is lower than the one in China and same is the case with Italy because the path coefficient is negative if this would have been positive we would have said that customer loyalty is higher in Pakistan in comparison to China now that we have done this let's see whether this difference of customer loyalty between Pakistan and China is significant although we can see that yes it's quite high this one is quite low but let's see whether or not they are significant because we've got a very good sample size let's run the bootstrapping again all this code has been discussed previously in the previous videos and the playlist the link to the playlist will be shared in the description as well to run your bootstrap model you call in the bootstrap underscore model function to run your PLS algorithm you need this particular function with these arguments the bootstrap model ran successfully now let's look at the output by getting in the summary and how do we get the summary we get our summary in this particular object by calling in this summary function and we are going to get the bootstrap paths as well let's run it and look at this is this difference significant and if we look at the t statistics yes there is a significant difference in customer loyalty between pakistan and china China has got a higher customer loyalty in comparison to Pakistan because there is a negative sign with Pakistan. So this means that loyalty in Pakistan is lower. Is it significantly lower? Yes, it is. And look at the other one, Italy and loyalty. Well, it is lower in Italy. Is it significant? Yes, if we have one tailed test, it is significant because it is greater than 1.645 with a negative sign. So this is how one can run again. Uh, these are the confidence intervals. We can see that this is greater than 1.645. It is if it is a one tailed test. So this is how you can analyze categorical predictor variables using semin R package in R. Thank you very much.